Aloha. I'm Senator Maisie Hirono, and I am glad to be with you all today to celebrate Admiral Harry Harris. I first met Admiral Harris in 2013, shortly before he took over command of the U.S. Pacific Fleet. Over the years, he has become a friend and trusted partner, and he and his wife, Bruni, have become members of our Hawaii Ohana. It's fitting that Admiral Harris is receiving this year's American Patriot Award. A naval officer and a diplomat, he has dedicated his life to serving our country. Well, I've known Harry for almost 30 years now. We were both stationed in Japan uh, together when we were mid-grade officers. Um, we were in the same business. We were trying to find Russian and Chinese submarines, but he was doing it from up at 10,000 feet or 2,000 feet, and I was doing it from beneath the waves. But we were pretty successful back in those days. Uh, nobody is more deserving of the American Patriot Award. Uh, Harry is a great naval aviator, a wonderful leader, uh, has a sense of humor, can tell a story, uh, but has just a fabulous sense of the geopolitical interests that are fundamental to our national security. Uh, and as such, uh, he's made a fabulous contribution to our nation's security. As commander of the U.S. Pacific Fleet and later the Indo-Pacific Command, Admiral Harris worked to bolster our nation's military presence in the Pacific. Understanding the importance of collaboration, he helped to strengthen our relationships with other militaries in the region and build consensus about how best to address emerging threats. And in 2018, I was honored to introduce Admiral Harris at his confirmation hearing to be our nation's ambassador to South Korea. What makes Harry a great leader is he's absolutely fearless about telling the truth. If you're the president or the secretary of defense, you want him on your team because you know that he's gonna give it to you uh, absolutely straight, uh, even maybe when you don't wanna hear it. Uh, during his tenure here in Hawaii, first as the Pacific Fleet Commander and then later as the Pacific Commander, uh, nobody has engaged this community uh, more completely and with more energy than, than Harry and, and Bruni. I think uh, he never turned down a speech in, in five years if it was to help this community move forward in any way, shape, or form. He made a lot of friends, a, a legion of friends, and certainly I hope this award, the American Patriot Award, brings him back to Hawaii many, many times. He led efforts to renegotiate our security agreement with South Korea and worked to build close military, diplomatic, and business relationships between our countries. Ammo Harris was so committed to being an effective representative of our nation that he went so far as to make Kim Chi as our ambassador. Well, you could say that Harry failed retirement. Uh, we had a wonderful ceremony in Pearl Harbor with Missouri and Arizona in the background. He gave a great speech, uh, but instead of riding off to the sunset in Colorado, uh, the president nominated him to be our ambassador to South Korea, which of course was a very challenging job. But that's Harry, he's a patriot. In addition to his distinguished service, Admiral Harris made history as the first Asian American four-star admiral in the U.S. Navy, making him the highest ranking Asian American in the Navy's history. Admiral Harris represents the best of our nation. Our state, our country, and our world is safer because of his leadership. Congratulations, Harry and Bruni. You're richly deserving of the American Patriot Award. Ammo Harris, mahalo for all you have done for Hawaii and our nation. And congratulations on this well-deserved recognition. Aloha.